There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to one of the past HC exam questions for nuclear chemistry chapter. In this video, we're going to cover this question, which is describe how technologies has enabled transuranic elements to be produced. I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. Once you pause the video, try to attempt that question, and I'll cover the actual answer once you've done it. And just press play, and I'll cover the answer. So again, five seconds. Right, I'm back. So first of all, you need to look at the actual question. It says the verb itself is describe, so all you have to do is describe. But it says describe how technology has enabled transgenic elements to be produced. So in this case, it's asking us why is technology important? Why is it important? And it's also asking us more or less to name a specific technology. And also asking us to give us a bit of a timeline as well. So, you know, what kind of technology came first and then what did that technology help us to produce? So I'll go over those parts in this question and it's worth, I forgot to mention that it's worth three marks. So first part is transuranic elements or elements with the atomic number of greater than 92. They are so unstable that they are rarely found in nature and have to be artificially produced. So here that was the whole, why is it important? Like why do we need to have technology to make transgenic elements? Because transgenic elements are so unstable that they're rarely found in nature. And the only way we can make them or have them is if we make them ourselves, if they're artificially produced. And obviously artificially produced, that means through technology itself. So that's the first part covered. And now we have to name specific technology. So the technolo technological prog progress led to the creation of nuclear reactors, which resulted in the discovery and the production of the transuranic elements with the atomic number of 93 to 95. That's neptonium to americium. Um, now when it comes to this kind of question, what we've done here, we've given specific technology. So we've mentioned the nuclear reactor and said that how progression in technology allowed us to make these nuclear reactors. And the nuclear reactors allowed us to make certain atoms with the atomic number of, of greater, or not, the atomic number of 93 to 95. So now we've given a technology, that's good. And we've also given examples of what they create. So 93, 95. And then we still have to mention the next technology. So the production of transgenic elements with the atomic number greater than 95 occurred when particle accelerators were introduced. So that's our technology here. And the examples that we gave were anything with the atomic number of not greater than 95. So here we've gotten, we've done everything. We've said why is it important? Because we have to create anything which is higher than 92 because they could occur naturally. We gave specific examples in terms of technology, such as the nuclear reactors and the particle accelerators. We also gave a timeline by saying that first nuclear reactors came around, nuclear reactors were first, and then the particle accelerators were introduced later. And that enabled us to discover even more elements. So this is what I also have here, which is not, probably not actually a necessity for this kind of question, because only three marks is actually have given an a equation as well. And this is just what happens in a particle accelerator when a nickel and smashes into a bismuth to create a ruthenium. This is the 111, which is a transuranic element. That was just an example. This would be maybe a bit too much for this kind of three-mark question, but if you know one, it's always good to include as well. So for like which where does this question come from, what dot, dot point this relates to, it's related to these two dot points. So describe how transuranic elements are produced. That was video three. So describe how taking so it was actually not asking us how they're produced, but asking us related to this dot point is what technologies were important when it comes to this production. But it's also related to this one, which is video number seven. Process information from second sources to describe recent discoveries of elements. So those two combined gave us this kind of question. But yeah, if you mention, so we mentioned here that they need to be artificially produced. 
that's the point. We then we mention examples such as the nuclear reactor and said that that's important when it comes to producing um, ones who have a atomic number of 93, 95. That's the point as well. And then we gave another example of technology, which is the power accelerator, and said that anything greater than 95 needed to have one of those. So that's three out of three. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.